Autodesk PowerMill now offers a cloud-based platform for the management of your post processes. Post processes stored in the cloud allow you and everyone in your organization to access the most up-to-date revisions quickly and securely, helping to avoid problems commonly associated with multiple programmers using different locally stored post processor files. Let's take a look at how cloud-based post processors can benefit your business. We'll begin by selecting an NC program that we wish to output. Once done, we can access the settings form via the right mouse button. Whilst in the settings form, select the folder icon next to the machine option file to open the new post processor dialog. In the bottom right hand corner, we can see that PowerMill is syncing with the cloud and looking for any updates to our post processors. On the left hand side of the dialog box, we can see a list of post processors. In addition to displaying the file name, we can see two different types of icon. Post processors with a computer icon are stored locally on the hard drive. When you see a cloud icon next to a post processor, it means that this is stored in the cloud. In this example, we will select a post processor from the cloud. Note how the PowerMill interface updates to provide additional information, such as machine manufacturer, model, NC controller type, and revision number. If we select the version drop-down menu, we can see that there are four revisions of the POSE processor that can be selected. For this example, we'll select the latest revision. Additional details can be accessed by clicking the information shortcut icon. A window appears and includes a summary of the changes made in each revision. Once the correct post processor has been selected, we can output the NC program by clicking the right icon. OK, so we've seen how to access post processors stored within the cloud. Let's look at how these files get onto the cloud in the first place. Post processors in the cloud are managed by a dedicated team of technical specialists at Autodesk. Once a customer requests a new post processor or a modification to an existing one, the Autodesk team uses a searchable database to identify a post processor based on the machine manufacturer, model, number of rotary axes and NC controller type. A standard post processor can be modified to suit the specific needs of the customer. Once complete, the finished post processor is added to the Autodesk account, at which point it will be displayed in the PowerMill interface. Crucially, any PowerMill users that have been given access to the posts in the cloud system will also be allowed to see the post processors in their own PowerMill interface. Users with administrator access rights can access a dedicated post in the cloud interface. This provides more advanced controls over users and post processor files. To allow additional PowerMill programmers to access the post processor files, they must be added to the post in the cloud interface. This is done by creating a new user, entering their name and email address, and giving them user status. The same interface allows users to be deactivated. There may be occasions when you wish to download the post processor files from the cloud and store them locally. This can be achieved using the same post in the cloud interface. If we navigate to the post section of the interface, we can see a complete list of post processor files available to us in our Autodesk account. To download the post processor, simply select it from the list, choose which revision you wish to save and then click the download icon. Be aware that downloading a post processor in this way removes the benefits of cloud-based collaboration and may increase the risks of you and your team accessing out-of-date or incorrect post processors. PowerMill's Post in the Cloud system helps manufacturers to better manage their post processors. By providing a centralized platform, engineering teams can access the correct and most up-to-date post processors at all times and reduce the risks associated with users having multiple post processor files stored locally on their PCs.